<clears throat> what is going on guys let me know if you guys can see me and hear me I haven't live streamed in a very long time so I'm not sure if my settings are good let me know if you can hear my voice if you can see the picture if you can hear the background music I've got some background music going on but um yeah I'm basically just going to be working on a dinosaur piggy bank for my godson's um birthday which is coming up in a week so I found a picture of a t-rex online i'm gonna try to just basically outline it maybe modify the tail a little bit and then take it over to 360 fusion and make it 3d it's gonna be it's not gonna be like a how do i explain it so my goal is to basically make a side profile and then just extrude it upward and add some maybe uh, fillets to the side i'm not actually going to be doing a really big like 3d model I'm, i actually don't even really know how to do figure 3d model so i just figured i was doing it and i haven't done a live stream in a really long time and um it'd be fun to hang out and see who's around and you know what's going on on this saturday night at 8 30 my time so uh looks like uh, looks like you guys can hear me and see me all right what's going on k5 what's going on sean what's going on n8 thank you guys for hanging out if any of you guys are skilled in photoshop or 360 fusion feel free to give me any pointers um, but right now, again, I'm basically going to be just outlining this T-Rex. Um, so, again, I know how to use Photoshop, but I'm not fantastic with it. My plan is to basically create probably a new layer um, and then draw on the new layer, which will be over the Jurassic Park, and then I'll, you know, eventually get rid of it. So we'll, we'll get started, and then we'll see. I do remember you, Sean. I feel like you you were hanging out in um, a stream I had not that long ago. Well, it's been a long time now. Reply it. Oh yeah, 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 I do remember actually. It was in a video I uploaded not long ago. And I said, yeah, of course I of course I did. So I'm not sure if I want to use, use a paint tool or a pen tool. Uh, it's been a long time. Let's um Oh, it's been so long since I've used any Photoshop other than basic stuff. Uh where is even the pen tool? Nope. Nope. No, is that pencil? It looks like pencil. Okay, so I think I can just go. Maybe I'll just outline it like this. How do you? Isn't there a way? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, so you just drag. For... Okay, so let me redo what I'm doing right now. Ooh. That's annoying. My Nvidia thing keeps popping up. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, again, we're just chilling. If anybody has any random questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so that's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's totally not right, though. I have not used the pen tool very much at all. Ah, that's annoying, too. Is the music too loud or is it okay? Because it sounds good to me, but if it's too obnoxious, I can change it. How much does a 3D printer cost? Um, <laughs> it varies, but um, you can get a pretty good one for under 200 bucks. Maybe I should zoom in a little. Delilah, could you stop eating yourself, please? Pretty sure people can hear you eating yourself. That's way too much. Oh, there we go. So downward. Do we have commercials? Oh, of course we do. I gotta put together like a royalty free playlist. I don't hear music. Oh, you don't hear it? Well, that's annoying. There's supposed to be music. Let me make it a little louder. It's kind of like <laughs> trappy techno. If you guys don't like it, let me know and I'll, uh, Oh, that's ugly. Why is it arched like that? I feel like I'm doing this totally wrong. I kind of just want to use a paint tool. That's what I would normally use. Here, let's go ahead and um, delete the pen. Let's try this again. 
Hopefully it'll reconnect. Sorry if it re disconnected. I don't hear it, but it's still fine. Don't waste your time. Okay. What's up, Tech Nerd? What's going on, man? How are you doing, man? I'm glad you guys are around. I might be streaming more the next little bit here. I don't want to use white. Let's use black. Yeah, this will work fine because it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm doing pretty good, man. I finally got semi caught up with my homework, so I was like, I've got some time. Let's do something. And then I was gonna I was trying to figure out what I want to do for my godson's birthday, which is next week, and he loves dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur themed birthday, so and I know he's got coins in his. Mom's been telling me to 3D print him a piggy bank, so I was like, you know what? It's a good opportunity for a video and a fun project. Probably not gonna keep the nail like that, just because I think it has to be flat in the end, since it's gonna stand. I think I'm going to move the tail downwards. Um, that way it has the feet and then like the tail to balance it. We'll see. <clears throat> hey Tech, you were the one that was having trouble with the uh, castle, right? I feel like you were the one that said that you got like the wrong board or power supply or something like that. <laughs> did you get it going or no? Is it still a pain in the ass or did you give up on it? I just finished upgrading my, um, oh god, my nose. Um, my nose. I just finished upgrading mine. I added like a, um, LEDs to it. I'll show you actually, man. I'm gonna make a video on it, but since you're here, you can get a sneak sneak peek. Let's see if I can make it full screen real quick. Um, let's make this really big. Whoa. There's Dan. Okay, watch. So check it out. Wait, can you see it? Um, kind of. So I added a spool holder to the top. Um, so now I don't have to have like a side spool holder. And then I moved the extruder um, to the top. I basically had to solder the cable, like snip it and extend it, so that way it's up there now. I added LEDs um, and a switch right here. So let me turn on this printer. All right, so that's on. But yeah, so we got LEDs on it now. And then I got an on and off switch. I was pretty happy with that turned out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a video on it soon here. I was actually, the camera's there, so I was gonna start working on it tonight before I change my mind, but I got mine working pretty well. Sorry, I wasn't trying to show off that mine's working while you're having problems or like that. Just figured I'd show you my project. And I've got, I've got the Tivo tarantula laid out on my desk. It's been here for a month. It's all covered in dust. I'm like, oh god, I need to build it. And I've got a mini CNC that just came in. I'm just like, oh, gave up not worth my time. Okay. Are you, um, did you sell it or what did you do with it? Let's see if I can make myself small again. Hey, what up, Crank? <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, God, I miss streaming. It's been so long. What up, Toasted? Scrap it. Okay. Eh, it's not. At least, you know, at least you get parts out of it. I pretty much do that with all printers that are don't think I'll be using a lot which comes in really useful um, I've had a couple times my Fulger Tech like a parts gone out on it and instead of having to order on Amazon I just go to my graveyard of 3D printer parts I'm probably I don't even know if I'm gonna do the teeth detail because you're not gonna be able to probably see the teeth <laughs> I'm not really sure what I want to do with the teeth I'm not sure what I want to do the tail either, because the tail, I, I need to go, like, downward like that. Maybe even more downward. 
This will be interesting. We'll see how this goes. I haven't done any kind of working with Photoshop or 3D modeling in quite a while. Yeah, I've been I've been really busy with school actually, guys. Um, um how do you draw that perfectly? <laughs> I it's I'm not drawing perfectly. <laughs> Just zoom in. If you zoom in really high, it gives you a lot of room to um, use a small paint tool and when you zoom out it looks pretty perfect, but when you zoom in, I mean it's not perfect, you can see it. I do have a really good mouse too, so a Zowie gaming mouse for shooters, so I'm sure that helps. But I would like to, um, I'd like to get a tablet, like a Wacom or Wacom. I don't know how you say it. It'd be much nicer to be able to use like a pen tool for drawing. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna smooth out the arch a little bit. Just gonna cut through here to give it less of a rough shape. That'll work. <laughs> I don't draw perfectly, but thank you very much. To anybody that's good with Photoshop, they're probably like, oh man, this guy's terrible. <sighs> okay, tech nerd sounds good. Alright, let's see. I still have to figure out what I want to do with the teeth. Because I don't think you're, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get these details with what I'm printing. Maybe I should just draw a couple big ones. I mean, it's for a little kid. Let's see, like, just, I think I'm just drawing like triangles. Because that you'll at least be able to see when I print it. Originally, I was going to draw the dinosaur on pen and paper, then take a picture of it and import the picture. Yeah, that's probably going to be perfect. We'll see. Once I do the top triangles, they're just haters. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So let's do a big old triangle right here. And then a little triangle. That should work. How are you guys doing? How's your Saturday Saturday night going? You know, just, oh, I don't like that. I should have a video up for you guys tomorrow too, as long as I get to shooting and editing tomorrow. On top of my math homework and my probably programming homework. Guys, I've been seeing 50 and 20 on the floor question show last week, but I can never get it fast enough because I'm working. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what laugh? Sorry. <laughs> I have to be kind of weird when I talk because it's 8.40 and the kids go down at 7.30, so I'm kind of using, like, my... I think I'm whispering inside voice. Do you work at a big grocery store, Crank? Like, like a Stater Brothers or Ralph's or Albertsons? Okay, I gotta figure out the tail soon here. Oh, I thought you were a dorm. No. Publix? I've never heard of Publix. No, 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 not a dorm room. No, I live, um, I rent out a room with my best friend and his wife and two kids. 
So their room is like right here beside me. And so yeah, I have to be super quiet. There's been plenty of times like it's late night and I'm playing video games and uh, I'll get a text from my buddy's wife and she'll be like, hey, can you keep it down? And I'm like, oh, sorry. It's just hard to tell when you have your headphones on. Any news for Xbox One modding? Dude, I have no idea. I don't follow it and I don't have an Xbox. What I do have though is a Switch, which is fucking awesome. My buddy got it for me for my birthday. I've been playing like crazy. Breath of the Wild and um, Steam World Dig 2 and um, Stardew Valley. Oh shit, it's going to the Switch. Damn it. Stupid smart TV. Hold on. I can't see my screen. Because you said home so they got me thinking, haha. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Dorms are expensive, man. But now nah, I've been doing a bunch of like. So, I'll show you guys. I'm in intermediate programming, and I took the prerequisite for it. Like, um, I, I took the prereq for it. Like, oh crap. Um, hold on. I took the prereq like four years ago, so I don't remember any of it, and so it's been a struggle. Where is it? Oh, assignment four. So there's like one that I was messing with. It's pretty much been taking up all my time. It's just like a simple program called CAR. It's like a homework assignment. So basically, I created a class called CAR, and it has a couple of variables like your model. Um, the make and the speed. So what the program does is it created two functions, one um, called accelerate and one called brake. So this car starts at zero miles per hour and every time it runs the accelerate it increases by five which is x plus five and it'll it'll output what the current speed is. And so I created a loop so it basically um, the loop is down here so it runs the accelerate five times so five separate instances and then the break five separate instances and then it'll output the speed so when I run it let's see if it'll run um, yeah so the speed of your 2014 Corolla so I created a um, object called Toyota in the car class and it's year is 2014 make is Corolla and then Again, it starts at zero, and then it runs the accelerate, so it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Then I run the brake uh, function, so it goes 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. So this one wasn't too bad. Um, it's just all the syntax and learning how to use classes and mutators and accessors. It's just, it's been a lot on top of my math and my other classes. But. Yeah, I programmed this one. And then it's like, let me show you another one. Let me switch it. What are you guys saying? Profanity. Um, me thinks the money that falls on the floor is from people who go there to play lottery. Oh, possibly. Yeah, I programmed this. It was just a blank piece of nothing. Watch, I'll show you another one. I think this one was a little bit more complex, maybe. Yeah, this one's a little more, I guess. This one's for, we created a class called employee. Each employee has a name and ID number, the department they work for, the position they work for. And then I created, these are constructors, which I don't really know how to explain them. They basically run and set default variables for the class. And then I created, these are just a bunch of functions that return values. And then um, I created three employees, one called Susan, one called Mark, one called Joy, and they all have a name, a badge number, their department, and their position, and so many run it, it just basically outputs their um, different job roles. So yeah, it outputs it like their name, their ID number, department, oops, I went to the wrong thing. Where'd it go? Oh, and then their position. So I have a couple of fun projects that I wanna do with this coding stuff. I'm just not good enough yet. Like I wanna do one for 3D printing, which is basically going to be like a um, 
like a Windows application that you run it, and it'll basically do a few things. It'll um, let you input how much filament you're using for something, and then it'll calculate how much it's going to cost you based off of which filament you're using. Like you'll be able to select preset filaments that you, like how much you paid for it and how big of a spool it was, and you can choose your markup, and then it'll output the cost. That way, for people that want to sell their 3D models, it's like a all-in-one calculator. And yeah, you can do it right now with a um, pen and paper or a calculator, but I think it'd be cool to have a program and then I can add um, certain uh, functions like um, one where it stores the link to where you purchased the filaments. That way if you need to buy more, you can click on it and it'll take you to you know Amazon or wherever. So. <clears throat> yeah, I have 23 printers and counting. Jesus, do you really, Tech Nerd? When you first started watching my channel, oh wait, t don't you, um, you make money by selling stuff locally, right, Tech Nerd? I feel like you were the one that said that. On my, like, first stream you tuned in, or one of the first ones. I've heard of the Shield tablet. Yeah, I'll look it up real quick. Um, shield tablets. Is it new? It's got really good, uh... It's got good, uh, feedback for the most part. It's not bad. Four stars. How much is it? Oh my god, it's expensive. Holy shit. So it links with your Steam library, maybe? Does it just stream to it? More powerful it. GeForce Now Cloud. Tagged by NVIDIA Tegra processor, full 1080p. Speak is incredible video and sound. Wow, that's really cool looking. The Switch is awesome though, man. I've been having so much fun with it. And then, uh, in six days, Super Mario Odyssey comes out, and it's gonna be GG Life. Bobby said, Dad. Where is the stream? There it is. If only he didn't update. Oh, yeah, Newbert's actually the guy that got me my Switch for my birthday, which has been the most life-sucking thing I've had. I, I literally, last night, Newbert, I got off of playing PUBG at like 2, and I freaking played um, Stardew Valley until 6, and then I went to sleep. <laughs> it's so fun. Yes, I make about $1,000 a week. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> La Bobby's in here, too. Okay, oh, one day you will, bro. Just follow your dream. Yeah, right now, um, aside from YouTube, which doesn't really make me much since I haven't been active, um, I sell 3D prints too, but not locally. I do mine online. But I haven't really been putting much time into it because I've been so busy with school, but it's at least a little passive income. Hey, Bobby, I'm working on a um, piggy bank for boy for his birthday. Look up Spiro, it's a robot. Alright, I'll t take a look later on. I gotta make some progress on this dinosaur, man. I'm just trying to figure out how I can make his tail go down without drawing it by hand. Because if I draw it by hand, it's probably gonna look terrible. No, because I want it to curve. Like, I want it to go kind of like. kind of how I want it. I just want it to... because it's going to stand on his foot and on his tail. <laughs> to 
Tuesday I'll have my Switch. Oh my god, Destiny 2 comes out Wednesday? Fuck. Copy the tail how it is now. Select the area and flip horizontal. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna listen to you. Okay, so copy tail as now. So wouldn't I just go... Wait, we say it says copy the tail, select the area, flip it horizontally. Wouldn't that... How do I create a new layer of the tail? Wait, did I just do it? I think I just did it. Oops. No, I didn't. Oh, it's because I'm not even on the right layer. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what am I selecting? Okay, so you can go to the track. Oh, that's why I'm stupid. I was making new layers instead of a... Uh... Okay, so copy that. Okay, so I need to go to this. Then I just select the tail. New layer. Are you going to support the front? I'll probably just use supports for the front, Bobby. Or I can print on its side because it's not going to be like... It's going to be like a... How do I explain it? It's going to be flat. So I'm going to lay the dinosaur sideways and print it up like that. And I don't want it to be that curved. It's going to be kind of like a square, essentially. Actually, if you want... See, yeah, yeah it's because it's so low. That's the issue. Oops, what am I doing? Not really sure how I want to do it. Maybe like that. That might work. It's just the only thing is though, if it's gonna be a piggy bank. It's gonna need to be kind of fat. I, mean, I should give him like a huge tail. Like I feel like I might need to bulk his body up a little bit. Like, Obviously, I have to clean this the fuck up. Hold on. <sighs> Alright, so let's try to make it... I think that's an accurate like, width that it needs to be on the top. The main issue is going to be down here, though, because like coins are going to get trapped unless I can make that solid <laughs> he looks so not like 
proportionate now. Yeah, it's gotta be 3D printed, that's the struggle. I almost wanna see if I can find a picture of like a fat dinosaur. <laughs> Let's see if I can Let's just see, because it, it doesn't really need to be accurate. It like it doesn't oh my god, I found a pregnant dinosaur. I could try to mix them like this. Watch. Oops. I'll show you guys. It's our fat dinosaurs. Look at it. There's probably be so many inappropriate things that are gonna come up. This is an awesome dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, the hole I can add later on easily. Oh, this one's pretty good. Maybe it'll be better to do dinosaur like this. No, it's gonna be in place. It's not gonna be like a toy. It's just gonna be a piggy bank. I'm gonna use probably wood filament. Oh, like dinosaur sex. <coughs> um, <I'm laughs> holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna use like a wood filament and then sand it and stain it so it looks cool. This is kind of a cute little dinosaur. That would be pretty perfect. This might be the one. Or a dinosaur birthday dinosaur. That one might be the one. I could just make the feet bigger to make it, you know, so it has like a base, but the feet are at least kind of centered on this. I think this is the one. And it's a birthday one, which is perfect because it is for his birthday. We'll try this one. What up, Billy Bob? All right, let's start this over. Let's delete, delete, delete. Um, no, that's the original. Green dinosaur, show in folder. Make them a lot bigger. Too big. I feel like this is at least a good starting point. We'll just outline him, and then I can add details in the 3D modeling software. I like this one a lot. I actually don't even need to um, draw an outline on this one, because it already literally has an outline. But what I'll probably do is, let me see. What do you mean, how am I going to show the hat? You'll see, Bobby. We need to get rid of all the... Because it's only going to be the outline, so we need to get rid of all the... Inside lines. You'll see, Bobby. Cause he's gonna be square, not round, so I'll be able to add like a triangle thing. I'll probably do that in the um, in 360 Fusion. This is gonna be fun. Hopefully, Billy. We started working on one dinosaur that could have looked really cool, but it just wasn't good for a uh, piggy bank. Yeah, we'll add we'll add like a smile indent and all that stuff later. Right now we just need the outline of the body, so that way I have a uh, starting like um, model to work with. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna get rid of your eyes. 
funny it's just an outline yes eyes <laughs> the eyes gotta go <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give them some facial features hopefully once we get them in the uh, 3d modeling software <laughs> all right let's go ahead and mm -mm -mm. Ooh, gross. Oops, I got rid of a lot of the... Um Oh, it's all right. We're gonna add a uh, we're gonna add a stroke to it in a minute, which will bring out the outline. Let's save this uh, as a PNG. I call it Dino Party. Okay. I'm <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna use uh, PNG to oops PNG to SVG. There we go. In our desktop. If possible, can you print it at a different temperature so it comes out in a different color? Could you print the in at a different temperature so it comes out in a different color? Oh, print the hat at a different temperature so it comes out in a different color. The only issues, is I'm going to print it on its side. We'll see. We'll mess with it. Let's see what we can come up with, guys. Let me open up 360 Fusion here. I'm definitely open to any ideas to make this awesome. I don't really have any direction to go with it. I just have the core idea. SVG. Okay, well that didn't work. Interesting. Okay, let's try um cancel then. I wonder if it's because maybe it's not supposed to be I thought I was supposed to get rid of the background, but maybe not. Maybe it needs to have a white background. Let's try it again. Receive files, save as. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, so PNG, we'll call it Dino Attempt 2. And then we'll go back. Go back. 
desktop dino attempt to Stop. Dog is literally eating herself. Um, what was I doing? Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead. Stop sketch. Insert. There we go. Cool. Oh, this is recommended? Cool. Hey, what's up, Nico? Oh, this is Nico that I know in real life. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Yeah, so we're working on, we're gonna be creating a piggy bank for my godson's birthday. Oops. Um, how's, how's PUBG going? <laughs> Okay, that's all we need from our original. Okay, so now we've at least got our base. I might be able to print it standing up on its feet, but then I should probably let me let me flatten his feet out. Oops. No. No. Top, there we go. Losing as usual. Thanks, dude. Oh, nice, man. When do you start working at your uh, new job? Now he's at least got a flat foot. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I bet you'll feel good too, especially all oh, summer. It might be kind of hot, but. I feel like if you exercise on the way to work, by the time you get to work, you'll you'll be ready to rock and roll. So you're just gonna chill the next two weeks then? Kind of enjoy your last days of freedom or what? Let's see, sketch. Let's create a park. Use hat like like that. It's a good. Oops! I screwed that up. Should make that a separate body.
You know what? Why don't I... I got an idea. <clears throat> Let's make his hat come out a little bit. If we can. Dog cam, awesome. <laughs> I should just put the camera on the dog. She's probably more entertaining. Maybe catch her doing some weird stuff. Totally say hi. Hold on. Hey, Delilah. Delilah. You got an audience. <laughs> you want to say hi? Huh? You want to say hi? <laughs> She's being shy. You being shy? You're not a shy dog. Huh? <laughs> She's like, oh, so many people. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I must drop the camera. <laughs> yeah, she's sweet. The only thing that sucks is the older I get, my allergies are getting so much worse. I have really bad allergies, and so I can't really even, like, pet her that much. But she seems pretty content just being around me, so. I've had her for four years now, which is crazy to believe. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I want to delete... I want to delete the extrusion. Delete. Yes. Okay. Now I want to. Extrude. Let's go ahead and hide the body. Oh, I screwed up again. <sighs> okay, now. Delete that body. This is a new body as well. Okay, now his hat's on all sides. That looks pretty cool, I think. Dude, you got six dogs? Jeez, what kind of dogs? My dog is having her time of the year. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, I got my girl fixed. Pretty much right when I got her. I was back when I was working at PetSmart. I was trying to find a funny video. Um, there was a video when I worked at PetSmart like four or five years ago, and this this lady came back with a dog a dog a bag food bag of dog food, and she wanted to return it, and I didn't know it was open. So I took it and I threw it over my shoulder to take it back and it was open. So like 30 pounds of dog food poured out 
in the front of the store by the register, like, all over everything. <laughs> and uh, I was really embarrassed, but I didn't know, like, what to do, so I just took a bow. <laughs> and uh, me and my buddy went back to, like, the security cameras and watched it over and over again, so I recorded it. I just can't find where. I think he uploaded it to YouTube, but I, I haven't been able to find it, which sucks. But god, it's so funny. Like, looking back on it, it's hilarious. Do you think this should be just a ball? I kind of think about just putting a ball right here instead of the party thing that it has. Let's see what it looks like with a circle. Oh shoot, I didn't even think about where's the money gonna go? Maybe in the hat. Maybe I'll make a slit in the hat. I have to put a plug on the foot. We'll have to do that later. What do we think? Ball? Or the wavy thing that it already had? It won't have those lines. Those lines won't be there. What do you guys think? Do we like it as a ball or do we want it to have the um, poofy thing? Let me know. If you guys don't like the ball, I'll put it together. I'll put it back out. Was I'll move the rest of the back. Let me know in the chat, and then when I come back, I'll decide. Got some water? Happy puppy. So let's give me some water. Ball. Okay. Craig says ball. He's our only voter, so ball it is. Okay. So I definitely think I need to add like an an eye. 
That's what it makes it look like, that dog from Charlie Brown. Snoopy? <laughs> Is that your Snoopy? It's okay. As long as boy is what we call him, or Jamie knows that it's a dinosaur, I'll be happy. How do I want to do the eyes? How did he have the eyes in the picture? Um, Should we give him a smile too? Let's see. Too big, huh? Yeah, it's too big of a smile. Like too wide. Let's just do like that. That's just a casual smile. And then we'll draw one more arc. Go from like right here to right here. Actually, do a little bit smaller. Let's do like a three, yeah. Oh, that's the reason why the ball is looking like that. But do you join? There we go. <laughs> All right, so that's that. That's that. <laughs> okay, now he's a happy dinosaur. Okay, we gotta give him some eyes though, and I'm not sure how I want to draw the eyes. Maybe... So I just had circles. I guess we could just do that. No, we sketch. But I don't really want a circle. Hmm, maybe a three point circle. So I should probably be like right here. Oh no. Whoa, give him some bug eyes. <laughs> Looks like a fish. <laughs> Make him look like a goldfish. <laughs> no. 
No, 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 no. I guess I could do three circles though. I can do, okay, let's try this. So circle, center circle, oops. All right, like so we'll go one and then, nope, that's not what I want to do. No, that's not gonna look right either. Maybe I need to do, it's like circle, line. Is there, is there any lips tool? Am I being stupid? Oh, I saw it. Oh, how do you even, oh, there you go. Dude, shout out to Pots because you just saved me a lot of headache. Thank you. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. I've never even used that. It's probably still too big, right? Maybe not. <sighs> what up, Bobby? What up, Lightning Rod? Thunderbird. All right. You have never used the ellipse tool. That's crazy. Okay, so let's do... Go maybe out like uh, three out. Uh, new body. And then I think I want to do a circle on top of it so that way it's like a pupil. So circle. Should we just have them right in the center? <laughs> I'm not too upset about that. What do you guys think? Or I can have it where it goes like inverted. So instead of going, well not inverted, but instead of Instead of going outwards, I can have it go back downwards, so like, go like negative two. That might look better, huh? Having it go inwards. What do you guys think? Outwards or inwards? Spear the eye or sphere it? How do you do that? extrude concave any okay so yeah we'll, we'll 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 go in i like that better too okay inwards it is I can sphere the whole thing. Like I was gonna add a fillet to it, probably. Oops, to make it. Oh, that looks gross. Maybe I should sphere it first. Okay, let's try. Hold on. But first, I want to do. Um, hold on. Let me extrude it so that way it comes out the other side as well.
Okay, let's see if I add a fillet. Or you said fillet it? You think fillet look better? Hmm. Oh, that looks pretty good actually, no? What do you guys think? That actually looks pretty nice. I actually like that. And then I'll add the the people that goes inward. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks it's pretty good. It just looked really bad doing it after the fact. No, that's too much. We just want a three. to make sure I do it the exact same size. Center is roughly there. Let's do a nine. Okay, so remember that, center nine. Extrude and with a negative two. Thanks, Bobby. Can you cut a sphere into the eye to make it look like a pupil? Cut a sphere. So you mean like put half of a sphere inside of here? Never really even use this sphere tool. Oh, you want me to cut a sphere into the eye? Like, you're saying, like, instead of what's already in there or inside of it? Let me see. Or you just mean, like, inside, inside? Like that? Like that. That looks pretty cool, I think. What do you guys think? I definitely think it looks better like that than before. And I lit. That's cool, I've never even used this sphere. It's a mad frog. <laughs> Use lighting? That's not exactly what I meant, but it looks neat. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to understand. One, I'm not an expert with modeling, as you can tell by any means. I've done quite a few things, but it's usually just trial and error. But I'm not too upset. We're going to need to 
create somewhere for coins to go in. I mean, the plug will be down here. What do you guys think about on the mouth? Should I give it some roundness? I kind of think I should round off the whole... Oops. The whole thing a little bit. I'm going to sand it to get rid of the like wood shavings. I'm thinking probably... I'm probably going to print it in wood filament, sand it, stain it, and then I might paint that with like bright colors. Kind of reminds me of a lizard eye. Oh yeah, I can see that. Like, um, oh man, let me see. Like this guy. <laughs> Wait. Like this guy. <laughs> to the right. Ah. I can lower it. I like it in the center though. No, nah, I'm gonna leave it, man. Cause it's not supposed to be like real looking. Or like real it's it's just for little kid. But what I do want to do is add a fillet to the whole thing. I just, moving on <laughs> from the eye for now, I'm just trying to think of what else I want to add to it. Like on his back. I want to add some roundness to the body. I, I could probably just, I could probably just flay the whole thing, right? Oops, not like that. It's gonna take a while to select though. A couple of funny bits. <laughs> Dude, it is a bitch to grab all these spots. But for advertising, you want hot. Bobby, find me a picture of spikes like you're talking about and post it in Discord. Oh my god. Is there an easier way to grab the outline of the whole thing? Anybody? Flashing red LED? No, 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 no. We're <laughs> that's too much. 
It's just going to be a piggy bank. I mean, that would be cool. I feel like this is not going to play. I feel like it's going to give me an error. Is there a hotkey way to link edges together? I don't know if there is. I'm sure there is. This feels way too tedious. They've got to have something a little more. Oops. Oh no, what did I do? Great, I sucked at the whole thing. <laughs> mm. Let me see if there is, hold on. Select face to select all edges. There we go, let's see. Use the rule for a command. Where is that? Oh, willfully. Dude. Nope, that's not working. It's not going to work because... Wait, why is it not going to work? If I get rid of you... If I get rid of you... Ooh, when did the bodies all merge? I must have screwed up here? I'm cut, that's fine. That's also fine. Hmm, that's why right there. Okay, now I should be able to separate all the bodies. Oh, but the mouth is still... Try it now. Mm. Holy shit. Where is it filleting? I'm not really sure how to use the ruler function. Alright, I gotta watch a video. That's too long of a video, dude. One that's not. This guy says, modify a drop down, replace like a facial feature that, and then specify a radius to fill be applied to all edges. Mm. 
hmm, no, that is how you do it. It's probably not working because it has so many different types of shapes to it. Like, round and then not round and... <laughs> Starting right away is cheap, so you reset. It's a good way. Do you speak emoji? Well, one issue for me is that I wanted. I wanted it to be round. I wonder if I can fillet certain parts of it. Like. Can I fillet that? No. What about chamfer? No, well, let me do any of that. Well, that's irritating. Okay, so are we all agreeing that we don't like the eyes? Yeah, modeling is rough. <laughs> It's fun though, kind of, at the same time. Okay, if if we if you want me to scrap the eyes and start from square A, say scrap it in chat. by eyes. Delete. 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 Okay. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Pull up some eyes that we can work with here. Okay, we are not eye. Oh, that's a cool ass eye. But there's no way I can. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to model anything that crazy. But I could try to do something. Save and restore it. You can't do it. I think you should focus on making it round. That looks like the Eye of Saruman. Okay, so we just want some round eyes, we just want balls. Like that? Sphere for the win. You think just an outward sphere? So like... Wait a minute. Wait, why is it... Holy shit. Okay, that's a huge fucking... That looks way too big. Right? Or no? Is that good? I 
I can't think. I can't take any more looking at eyes reference anymore. I give up. I'm about to just go back to the old eye and say, fuck it. What about an Oblong Sphere? Where is the link to download this app? Uh. So you're saying go back all the way to the old eye, save it. I think that's where it was. It's 360 Fusion. Uh, all right, I'll find you a link. 360 Fusion. It costs money. No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't. If it's just for hobby or for a student, it does not cost money. Um, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby, for the $2. You two just told me to take a break, those assholes. <laughs> There's a link. Wait, what the hell? It won't be supposed to look awesome. Too many characters. Thank you for the $2, Bobby. I, I really appreciate it. It's probably gonna go towards. Um, it's probably gonna go towards destiny. I don't know how. Um, just go to auto. Here, here, here. This link is too long, so let me go. Google URL shortener. Maybe I'll go towards a. Um, what's it called? A. Uh, Chicago dog. <laughs> I'm gonna put it there just my lunch tomorrow. Okay, here's a link to it. A shortened link. Bobby, you didn't even say anything in Super Chat. You're supposed to say something like, I hate you, Dan, or Alright, so save it. We're gonna use we're gonna call this um Uh New Project. No. New project, we're gonna call it Sore Sore. Okay. I think it's okay. We're source. Okay, so source or we'll call this version eyesore. What's what called the software? It's Autodesk 360 Fusion. It's a really powerful piece of software. It's great. I can literally watch. All right, let me see. Watch. <laughs> We can literally do. <clears throat> How are these dinosaur eyes looking? Okay, so it has like. So dino eye should be. <laughs> that looks so creepy. <laughs> Hold on, we need to get this right. <laughs> Did it change it on the other side? No, it didn't. Shit. No, but I'm thinking like... <clears throat> watch... What if we... <clears throat> you guys see what I'm doing? It's like an actual dinosaur eye, maybe. 
and then we were to You know, because now it kind of actually looks like a dinosaur eye. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, SolidWorks is stupid expensive. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to just not give this dinosaur eyes. Alright. Oh, nice. The spikes do look kind of cool. You just do an eye like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cause I'm... I like that eye. That's a simple eye. So it's literally an oval, in an oval, in an oval. So it's kind of like, um, oh shit, that's huge. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not a huge fan of the ellipse tool. I don't think I understand how to use it. Okay, I think that's the best eye we've had. Try stretching a sphere in one direction. I have no idea. Don't forget to light up your ellipsoid from within as a projector. This eye is better than the eye we had before. Are you saying try to do a spear like in this shape kind of? Like stretch a spear?
I wouldn't be opposed if I can put a spear in here in that shape, like... <laughs> yeah, I don't like my eyes either. It doesn't look like you can stretch it. I don't think you can stretch it, Bobby. It only it stays in the sphere. Like I'll see if there's a way like let me see. I think I'd have to go into like a mesh. Let me see if I can create it as a mesh. Even under sculpt, using the finished form to return to solid. Okay. Create sphere. It's a big ass eye. Aha, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's try. That's one. No, it's too pointy. Let's try to do, um... Oops, I need to... Let's just see this looks. I mean, it's a sphere. <laughs> What do we think about Sedai? It's definitely not like a very nice shape. I'm gonna forget you only need the outside service to print. You are not animating. That's true. Go under modify scale. For just this? It should be non uniform. I don't think I can make... Yeah, I can't. I can't make the eye smaller, Bobby, because the eyes cut into the dinosaur. I saw the last open on said it oh well. <laughs> Alright, so I like the shape of this eye. I really do. So what we'll do is let's delete what we just did with this. Because I need to. Um, so 
we're going to extrude join and then we're going to extrude Ten. It's roughly right there, and then let's go extrude a three. Save, copy, and paste. I just saved it a little bit ago. We could save it again. I tried. <laughs> okay. We'll just do the spheres then. We could even make this go down. Uh, like, negative 2, 25. And this one, extrude negative 2.5. And then we'll go save, copy, extruded all the way through the model. Yeah, I joined the eye. Oh, you didn't copy. Might cause a problem with the print. Hmm, maybe. I guess time will tell. We'll see. I'm. <laughs> we gotta move forward. Jimmy's at work, man. It's the weekend, dude. Oh, let's do. He's out catching bad guys. I still think it'll be fine. Um, highest on the price, yeah. I still think it'll be fine because I'm gonna print it without any infill. I've never really used the um, sculpting side of it. It's really cool. This is definitely what you would want to use for um, like if you're actually creating detailed models. Oh shit. Yeah, those are cool eyes, man. <laughs> We, which is the best for plane modeling um I couldn't tell you I haven't used anything but 360 fusion I think 360 fusion would work great for you I mean I could find you a link um, 360 fusion 
I'm trying to think. I don't see. Oh, dude. Here's um. Here's a video of a guy designing an RC plane. In 360 Fusion, and then here's a guy drawing. This guy's actually taking a sketch of a plane and making it a 3D model. I know Emily's up and crying. Okay. Probably give him a nostril, right? <laughs> like a little. Um, let's do another ellipse because we love ellipses. Ellipses are my my favorite. <laughs> Wait, where should those be? Now it's down here. Or is it too low? Like, no, we'll see. It's kind of a big ass nostril alright right there <clears throat> thanks man I'm in a tech class learning this stuff but all we've used so far is 3ds max so I wasn't sure I've heard good things about 3ds max too I've never used it I, the only ones I've ever messed with was um, Oh god, what is it called? <sighs> it's a huge one, it's like a free one open source and it's used a lot for animation. I can't think of what the hell it's called, but so you can do 3D modeling with it too. Um, and then Maya, Maya is another one that I've heard good things of. And um, ZBrush too. Those are like the ones I know of. And then of course um, Blender, yeah, that's it, exactly. Blender's the one I was talking about. I tried using Blender, but Blender was too complex, man. Like, I watched some YouTube videos and the the workflow was just insane. Um, it almost does too much, the program. Well, this one, I like that it's got a clean interface and you know you can switch over from models to um, uh, meshes and does animation, it does like everything. It's really cool. This is a great software. Especially the fact that all the way through, I know that we said it might cause problems, but I think I'll be fine. I feel like I've done this before, and it hasn't been an issue. But we'll see. It, if it is an issue, then I give you full permission to say I told you so. program I use called MOI, I like, it's through noise though. What does it stand for? Or is that literally what it's called? Let me just copy and paste it. Visa and I don't know, yeah, it's gotta be called, it's gotta be something else, right? Because when I type that in, it doesn't come up. Unless it's a uh, French word from Middle French, moi. That's what comes up. So Bobby, you want spikes on his back? I feel like... Hmm. I feel like a T-Rex does not have spikes on his back. You sent me a Stegosaurus in Discord, which is why it has those spikes on his back. of inspiration made by one of the guys who made Rhino. I haven't heard of Rhino either. What kind of what kind of stuff do you do, POTS? I feel like if you're spending three hundred dollars on software then you must do something with it. Three D modeling for designers and artists. Wow, that looks really cool. How did you even hear of it? Out of all the different uh 
out of all the different software out there. Oh, I definitely haven't heard of it. But yeah, I found it now. Yeah, Blender is insane. The middle one doesn't have spikes, Bobby. It has like round things on them. You know, draw round things on them? I feel like it might look weird. Basically like half circles on his back. What did our original one look like? You can draw some of these little circle things on his back. I should make his leg like um Show the neck. Holy shit, what am I doing? No, oh, that just looks bad. No, I don't like that. Uh, how are you going to get the round noise in the front? We talk about round noise. The nose isn't going to be round, it's going to be flat like that. Oh, there's a demo. Does it let you use the full version pretty much and then just expires after a week or? I kind of wanted to do some more shapes like that on his back right here and then extrude them like it's a little big shoot You know what I'm saying? Something like this.
Uh, there's a no save infinite version. Oh, that's cool. Do you like it? I mean, you spent money on it, so I, I assume you thought it was worth it. So we'll do five on each side. And for this one, we'll shift it. Maybe like that. It's great, I think. <laughs> What do you what do you use it for mostly though? I, I don't know if I missed it or not. I like his spots on his back. I think it gives him personality. Do you currently sell models, and if so, where are you looking into this future? Because I hate lesson tables. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. I've decided after the streaming for a while that it's no one's ever going to be happy with the end result. So I kind of got to just take some things and do some things, whatever. <clears throat> um, I don't sell models. I sell prints, so like, um, I don't really want to, I'm not really going to say specifically exactly what I sell, um, but, um, yeah, so I'll 3D model something, and then I'll 3D print the model, and I'll sell it, so, and the cool thing is about 3D printing is that, um, so I'll make the model, I'll print just one, take pictures of it and then post it for sale and then um, as orders come in then I just print it and ship it that way I don't have to have a bunch of them ready to rock I just when orders come in print them out and ship them out in a couple of days but I don't I guess I do sell some game stuff that's like prop things for cosplay um, but a lot of what I sell is actual um, like a tool or a part a replacement part for things um, or a tool of some sort. So, yeah, I don't blame you. I've worked lots of different jobs. Um, busing as well. I did serving, busing, bartending, um, desk jobs, fast food jobs, that smart. Some other IT work, like a little bit of everything. <clears throat> it's something I see up for to learn as a hobby. I do make models to mod games. Oh, cool. So, for example, like, um, do you do animation then too and stuff? Or no, just the models. Have you seen, I don't know if you're a Nintendo fan at all, but there is some guy that has been modding. So, like, again, this is not an original character, but he basically either made the model himself or ripped it from somewhere, and he modded it into Breath of the Wild. It's fucking awesome and hilarious, the stuff he's been doing. But stuff's really, really cool. Let's, um... Ooh. Maybe I don't want to fly it. Maybe I just want to chamfer. Me 
maybe I want to... Oh, I can't do it because I'm all the way through. That blows. Hmm. This one didn't go all the way through on, so if I wanted to, I could fillet that part. No, I can't. Hmm. Interesting. These ones I definitely want to add a fillet though. Or chamfer, maybe. Yeah. You couldn't break it if you threw it on the floor, dude. I already I three D printed him another source a while back, and uh, it's so strong. That's like the misconception about three D printed parts is that they're fragile when they're not. Megan um, Megan stepped on the dinosaur I printed him, and her like foot was bleeding. That's how strong it is. They're crazy, crazy strong. I'm just debating whether I want to outline some kind of a leg and then make the leg pop out on both sides. I kind of do want to. Like, um. Three D prints equals new Legos, exactly. I follow this new, although I just do modeling, it supports on STL if that's what you use to 3D print, but don't have a printer. Oh man, you gotta get a 3D printer, dude. Um, I met a guy through YouTube um, earlier this year that was a... Um, did he do animation? I think he did animation, but he was also a... Um, just created models, 3D models, and that's what he did for a living for companies. And he wanted to be able to create like 3Ds of his models, so... He wanted to, he like asked me if we, if I'd be willing to do like a private 3D printing crash course for him in person in return for, you know, whatever. And I basically had him do some channel art for me. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, if you're a person that creates models, like I could, I, I, you, you should have a 3D printer, dude. Because, I mean, it's really cool what you can create on the computer, and the models look sweet, but when you can actually take your model and, like, hold it, it's fucking awesome, dude. It's, like, the coolest thing ever. People have actually been making, like, all sorts of custom Legos using 3D printers for things. There's a guy on eBay that sells, like, a Star Wars Lego that he made for a ridiculous amount of money. I don't think he sold it. 3D printed Star Wars. Let me see what comes up. Yeah, look at... <laughs> oh my god, he sold two of them for $3,000. Jesus, look at this, man. It's fucking insane. I don't know why it's worth that much money, but check this out. Oh, damn it. Hold on. It's too long of a link. Google link shortener. Last time I checked, he hadn't sold any, but now he sold two. It's six grand for a tiny little print. I mean, it, it looks... I think it's like custom painted and shit, so it, it's cool, but is it $3,000 cool? I don't know. Here it is. There you go. Oh, my neck. Legos are super expensive, like insane. Nah, that's not what I want. Let's see if we go. I basically just want like a leg. So leg. 
leg. And then arc. Maybe like that, actually, it's not the worst. But I want to extrude it. That way it has more of a base. I think that looks pretty cool. I might do the same thing with the arms. What up, Sean? Mm -mm -mm. What do you guys think about that? I think it looks pretty cool. Cool. Bobby approves. It's coming together. But will boy like it? He's the ultimate critic. Okay, so 93 plus 10 is going to be negative 103. It's kind of tits. No worries, man. It's 10.30. You guys are awesome. I honestly, like, a lot of times if I stream randomly, nobody will show up because it's random and I have to like create an event from it and give people a week heads up so this is really cool I'm super stoked that you guys are keeping me company and giving me ideas thanks Sean I'm glad you like it man it took us a long time to get to this point I'm definitely thinking it's coming along now do you guys think I should do the same things with the arms like make the arms protrude a little bit maybe not quite as much this is like 10 but maybe I'll do five so they'll protrude like halfway yeah it's gonna be the bank I'm thinking what I'll probably do is I'll create a slit in the middle of the hat so that way it'll drop in and then I'll create a um, threaded probably threaded plug on the bottom if I'm honest this is the first stream I've watched in a while well thank you for watching mine because this is the first time I've streamed in a while I, w I was really streaming hardcore for a while and then you missed my whole rant earlier but I've been in school um, I'm going for computer engineering and uh, right now I'm taking pre-calculus just kicking my ass um, my last gen ed which is com which is I'm killing it and then intermediate C++ which is killing me because I took the prerequisite like four years ago and I don't remember anything and a lot of the kids in my class can write full programs so I was like I was showing off some of the different stuff I was working with like we just got into basically like classes so I'm sort of getting it but not not to the extent that I think I should be getting it hey what is up MKME jeez how are you doing man I've been jeez I haven't talked to you in a long time was not expecting you to be um online <laughs> at 10.40 at night. I don't, I don't even know. It might be later where you are if you're not on the West Coast. It makes his ass kind of thin, though. <laughs> it's okay. You can have a thin ass. I recommend you do live streams. Yeah, I'd love to do live streams more often, man. It's just, I usually don't like live streaming when my room's a mess, and um, I have to be in the mood, you know? Like, I, it's sometimes lately I've not been in, like, a talkative explaining mood I'm so burnt out and frustrated with the way school works going and stuff like that but I think his butt looks fine Bobby I'm sorry that my dinosaur doesn't have a big enough butt for you just dropping by oh 138 jeez what's your big uh big project you're working on right now if you had to summarize it real quick I'm sure you're tired but what do you got going on I haven't really been on YouTube much man in all honesty um except for trying to upload a video a couple times a month and uh, I, that's really it. Schoolwork. I mean, I've been able to keep up. What's your big, big project? <clears throat> hey, what's up, Jack? I can't believe how many. I mean, it is a Saturday, so this does make sense. But there's a lot of people stopping in, and considering how late it is. All right, do I want to do something with his arms? Like, maybe I'll do the same thing with his arms. Give him a little, we'll do a little, um, much. flip him around. So Bobby, I think yeah, I'm going to probably draw some polka dots on the hat. And then um, once I print it and sand it and stain it, 
I'll get like a paintbrush and some colorful paints and actually paint the spots. So that'll be the big pop. <coughs> Tuning projects. That's my channel. Some more 3D prints and new FPV quad, then a full edge 540 plane. After that, back to Pyre Robotics and maybe some tutorials. <laughs> Dude, you've always got a million things up here. <laughs> That's, I knew I knew that there wasn't just one thing. I've, I've been struggling so hard. Like, I just finished one printer finally. I've had, um, I mean, I've got, I can lift up some parts, but. I've, I've had this Tifo tarantula kit laying on my desk for 30 days now. It's all covered in dust because I got so backed up with things. And then I've got a box with like a mini CNC machine um, right here that I haven't even opened. So I don't even know if it's in there, but it's been sitting there for coming up on two months now or a month and a half. There's always so much stuff. <clears throat> but um, I'm really interested in the FPV stuff. Um, if I wanted to get into like 3D printing quadcopters, um, what is your recommendation? Because there's a lot of models out there. Um, there's one that I think is the same one that our, uh, what's his channel's name? RC, I know you know what I'm talking about. RC something, he's from Europe. Uh, it's slipping my mind right now, but he just built one. P on 230. Is that the one that I was looking at? Let me see. Let's bring this up on here. Hold on. Thieverse. Mm -mm. Oops. Where did I do it? Okay. I think that's the one I was looking at. Nope, it didn't come up. <laughs> oh, is this it right here? These are, oh, these are all like mods for it. Uh, oh yeah, RC Life on exactly. I did. <laughs> I, I like literally see all of his videos, and I can't remember his freaking name. In the mood for two Domino's pizzas. It's eleven o'clock at night, newbie. I don't think they deliver anymore. <laughs> um, what would be cool, Sean? Quad. Let me see if it's what I'm thinking though. It's by um, I think Tech Two C is the creator. If I can find where's this guy at? I wanna say it's tech to C. Yeah. Maybe. It might be twenty twenty to search okay, peon. Peon quad. Okay. Oh, that is the one I was thinking of tech to C. Yeah, that's the, okay. I think that's the one that uh, RC Life on just did too. So this is the one you recommend. This is the one I've been looking at. This guy is, this guy's insane. I think he, didn't he build uh, the Hypercube Tech to see? <laughs> yeah, Hypercube. This guy's a, I, I used to watch a lot of his stuff, um, but his projects are just so phenomenal. The guy's crazy smart. This um, was one of the 3D printers that I really wanted to build. I just didn't have the money to source all the parts if it'll load. What do you think? Um, what do you think I'd be looking at price-wise, uh, MK, to get this thing going? I mean, I know that the frame's three D printed, but still for like the motors, the drivers, the stabilizer, the actual um, controller to control the thing. RC cars I've wanted to do too, um, Sean, but something about, bro, they're up until 2 a.m. Are they really? Shoot, if you place the order, I'll go pick it up. I'm getting hungry. Um, our RC cars I've wanted to do too, but uh, quadricopters to me are just cooler because they fly. Like, there's something about, you can't argue with something that flies. That's the family of the next build, uh, but only for the build video, then the parts get reused for a normal build. So you'll reuse the 3D printed parts for what? Something else? Give me two toppings per two pizzas. Two toppings per two pizzas. Canadian bacon and pineapple and pepperonis and pepperonis and olives. US dollars and you are way more than good for everything. Check out the 210 fit I just did yesterday. It's a great set of kit. Okay, I will 
go to your channel right now and open it in any tab because otherwise I will for sure forget. Uh, anybody that's um, following or in the stream right now that likes stuff that I do should definitely subscribe to MKME. Um, he's got an awesome channel. I actually linked up with him through uh, it's like a partnership site where you can link up with other creators and do um, collaboration stuff and that was a long time ago now but um, yeah his channel has come a really long way and does insanely cool electronics projects like way way more um, um, he's way more knowledgeable and in depth for sure with his electronics projects and lots of Raspberry Pi stuff which is way cool but yeah that's funny to Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to watch this whole thing. Is this thing... Is it 3D printed? That looks 3D printed for sure. I can't tell. Is the body, though? Wait, didn't you make a video? Was it you? I swear you made a video where you took a frame of a quadricopter and you actually dipped it in, like, a water paint. The worst stoppings. Uh, yeah, no, it's really cool, man. Like, I've met a lot of people through YouTube, but it's always super fun finding people with similar interests. Just for one, just to shoot the shit, but two, it kind of gives you inspiration for some of your own things too. So it's really cool. Oh, that is the dip cod. Okay, I was gonna say because I swore I saw you dip in some red stuff, and this looks like. Uh, potentially a 3D printed frame that was dipped. I'm gonna have to try that too with something one of these days. I saw somebody that did it. It was recommended, which is strange, uh, but it was like a deer skull that he dipped in a paint mixture. It was like the craziest looking thing ever. I'll have to do that with something. Maybe I'll make a uh, a case for a console or handheld type thing, and then I'll dip it. But I've always I've always thought it was like really cool, just how you get such a unique design to it, and it it looks relatively simple to do. So. Uh, I'm hungry now. Only the mount is 3D printed. The frame is carbon, carbon, right? Is what you mean? Wait, so ham, pineapple, and pep and pep and olives, or just pepperoni? If Bobby's gonna eat some, just pepperoni. I would not be if you did uh, some research, Bobby. I would not be opposed to build 3D printed quads. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, way cool, dude. I'll have to check it out. Oh. Is um, is this pretty much what you recommend building? <laughs> New bricks are in the peeps of the world. Yeah, because the thing is, I couldn't spend an arm and a leg at one. I don't have the money right now, but um, it it would be fun. You know, I, I've always wanted to get a quadricopter. But um, could, could you save money if you did it um, for the two hundred dollars MK? Is it is it an FPV quad or no? It's just like a quad that you fly, not an FPV. Because I would I wouldn't be opposed to building one that's not FPV just to one save some money and to get the hang of it and then um, you have the 210 amazing it's my favorite setup watch that video and you'll see I have three of them okay I'll definitely check and look at it later on thank you for the recommendation that's wicked cool because again when I was looking at it there was so many options on Thingiverse and then I, I went to YouTube naturally and there was still a ton of options like so but yeah tech t I'm sure tech to see um, Anything that he makes is freaking awesome, so. Uh, I will talk to you more on the subject. This this is the video. I, just, I don't think it'll let you post links, Bobby. I'm pretty sure you have to be a moderator. I made newbie moderator. And Bobby, you guys both get mod. <laughs> Because we've spent too much time together playing video games. <coughs> yeah, I'll have to do it. I'll for sure, um, when I do end up doing it, there you go. 
let's see what was Bobby. Oops. Damn. When I clicked on your link, it took me off my stream. How do you change the YouTube background to dark gray? Um, that's a good question. Where did they add that? Is it right here? Uh, there you go. If you click on your little avatar, and you go down here, or oh, over here, dark theme. And then if you switch to light, dark. I love dark theme now. Huh. Probably because I'm a vampire and the white, I'm just like, ah, I'm going to fit on dark. I'm like, yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, I think I've watched this video, Bobby. Mm, maybe not, actually. If it's from March of 2017, I might not have seen it. Uh, camera and VTX cost nothing now. Check out the AKA models for VTX and cam. But that frame, man, you see, so the dirt cheap. <laughs> it's so nice. And indeed... Oh, the future set is the way to go for checking out the best deals right now. Yeah, I've totally seen this video actually, because I remember I saw his background. and was like, holy shit, this guy likes drones. <laughs> yeah, I figured they were close. Oh, uh, actually, it says they're open until one a.m. <laughs> Newbie, <laughs> I can send you the. I guess I need the address of the one that's... I'll post in Discord. <sighs> okay, we gotta get back to the source or Mod City. <laughs> That when I type in your zip on their site, do you have, what what zip are you using? Old one or new one? It's this now. I typed it in chat. It's the same as the one that's uh I just posted. You might be typing in my old one. If you're gonna deliver it, uh, deliver it to Bobby. It's just because there's not newborns. Gotta go have a good day night, whatever. <laughs> okay, sounds good, Pots, man. Thanks for hanging out. I'll definitely um, I'll probably do a follow up. If I don't do another stream of this, um, which I probably will, I'll probably do a stream where I'll maybe, uh, if I don't finish it, um, I'll at least do a video showing off the end result so that way you can see it since you did spend uh, so much time chilling. But um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging out, Pots, and for all your suggestions and for all <laughs> your feedback and everything. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to stream just for a little bit longer while I work on this, and then uh, I'll probably play some video games with Bobby and Newbert and call it a night on that. Because I was only, I didn't really know whether people were going to be uh, popping in and out or not since I haven't streamed in so long, but it's been two and a half hours, so. Are you still doing like a weekly stream, MK, or no? I know for a while you were really um, big on the streams. last few weeks two videos posted per week instead damn yeah that's that's still a lot I take it because I mean I'm sure you have a a day job and for me I'm like I don't work right now I'm just in school but um, even with my courses I'm like struggling to get a video out every it's hard for me like it's been like every other week I'd like to do more it's just again in my downtime it's been more like hanging out and play some video games just because it's my downtime, and I'm, I don't know. I need to get back in the group of things, though. I just, I've been really wanting to up my uh, 
pr like production quality, not in terms of like actual hardware, but just the editing side of things, uh, like more angles, more editing, and um, yeah, I don't know. Seventy-five hours plus day job per week. That's crazy. What? If you don't mind me asking, like without super details, what um. 30 minutes a day I make for video. Oh, cool. Okay, so, see, that's that's all I really need. It's more the thought of sitting down and doing it all there. I just get tired. But if I just sat down and worked productively for 30 minutes, I'd be able to probably knock it out. Because you can do a lot in 30 minutes if it's a productive 30 minutes. It's just with me, I spend a lot of time thinking about shit. And I'm like, it's been an hour and I've done nothing. So, yeah, if you're productive, you can knock it out. Um, yeah, I was just going to ask, what field or industry do you work in just out of curiosity is it something related to like kind of what you do on youtube in terms of electronics and and something to do with like it or and that's a random question i just just curious <clears throat> you taking off too josh all right man thanks for hanging out dude for as long as you did I may try to do these more often then if I mean if it goes like tonight went then I'll definitely have to do it more often because it was a lot of fun um, it definitely won't always be modeling um, I don't really do a lot of modeling this is just a like a birthday gift I'm working on like I said for my godson um, but there's stuff we can do for sure like even if it was like hang out while I work on this 3d printer I've been putting off for a month and a half or the CNC machine there's always a project I could live stream for sure so uh, I like that twist off the industrial wind turbines. Oh shit! Crazy. That's that's wild. Um, do you work on like do you 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 do program right? MK. I swear I th thought I've seen you do something with coding before. Or do you not program much? I I, I swear that I saw you doing some coding. If you work with no, you have to. You have to code. With as much stuff as you do with pies. I feel like there's no way you're too techie. Like, too... Not even just techie, because there's techie people that don't program, but you're too, like... Deep techie, <laughs> if that makes sense. Wrenching on the turbines. Now I do indeed do a bit of coding, but I just tech support bug fixes. Okay, my hobby makes me good at the day job. Yeah, I'm sure, dude. They go hand in hand. It makes sense. Like, I mean, I feel like a lot of well, that's not true with everybody. There's a lot of people that make YouTube videos, and that's like just their hobby that doesn't kind of intersect with their day job. But I just kind of felt like with how involved you were with electronics and stuff like that, that you had to be working with electronics on your day job. There's just no way. That's cool though, thanks for sharing. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do more tonight. I kind of feel like we've done a ton with it. All that I really want to do is one, make the slit, two, make the plug, and then a little bit more details, but I'm pretty happy with them for the most part. I do want to add polka dots to you to the hat. And I kind of want to add spears to the end sticking up, like, um... <clears throat> uh, 
Bobby. Oh. All right, Dan. Pizza is on its way to Bobby's. <laughs> are you serious, newbie? Hey, are you going to be up pretty late tonight, Newbert? I mean, I know it's already 2 a.m. there, but if I hop off the next 30 minutes here, are you down to play some PUBG for a little while? I'm just botting in Diablo 3 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stream probably for another mm, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll make you uh, I'll make you a mod real quick, MK. Then you can you can send a link or post a link. Mm -hmm. Dog snoring. Okay. Can you guys hear? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. She's she's a pretty gnarly sleeper. Sometimes the sound she makes, I'll I'll lay in bed and she'll start like making a sound. And I'm like, okay, that's scaring the shit. I mean, so I'll wake her up and tell her to like knock it off. My girl did Danica put the pizza down with an eleven. <laughs> it's it's fuzzy. It's kind of stupid. Only one I've uploaded, but these are what I do. You from a winter? Wait, you actually go on a day-to-day -day basis? Your job requires you to go actually onto the wind turbines. I kind of figured you were working in an office. We have a ton. Um, and that's wicked cool from the high up. We have a ton of these. I don't know what. Well, you said you were so you're either mid, like middle of the United States or. A little bit easter you're easter you're a little bit for sure more to the east from me but um we have a ton of these out here in california between where i live which is towards like these i guess outer suburbs of la um and the desert um tons of them like maybe thousands of them <laughs> oops i definitely left the stream on accident Oh, you live in Canada? Very old video in other cities. Oh, okay. Got you. No shit. I didn't know you were up in Canada. It looks beautiful based off that shot. What do you think about these spears, Bobby? I like them on the hat. Gives it a little <laughs> little pop. <laughs> Thanks. It, um, <clears throat> it, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, like, a 3D modeler by any means. I literally, I mean, I've modeled a few things, but usually it's, like, um, I'll make something in Photoshop, like, uh, a lot of sales stuff. I'll do, like, cookie cutter type things, and, um, it'll be more of a drawing that I'll then just extrude directly, so I don't do a lot of actual modeling, um, except for, 
a couple like working parts um but again that's more schematics in terms of you know i'll use my my mul not multimeter my um calipers and measure something exactly and build like a tool but it's different to like do something that's artsy you know it's not really been my thing but <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> you should have seen earlier when we were messing with the eyes. My, my, me and the chat was going crazy. We could not figure out how to, how to do the eyes. Still not really sold on them, but eh, it's whatever. Whenever I should give them little eyebrows too. I should probably give them some teeth maybe? Like, should I give them some teeth? Ah, you could be just a happy dinosaur. Maybe a fang or two. I don't know. <laughs> no? Okay. What else should I do, Bobby? Do you guys should just add the slot? And call it a night? This. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if I make one for Jim, then I'll make one with nips. I'm not gonna give my three year old godson a dinosaur titty. <laughs> I don't really know what else I wanna add. Like, I'm. Oh, the polka dots. What am I saying? I have to add the polka dots. Mm -mm -mm. Silly me. Okay, let's just. What size? That's a good size. Oops. Why did you get crowned godfather? What is Rob the godmother? What are you talking about? I'm not sure how many dots I want. Let's just start adding them and then... That's too many. Are you gonna see? Are we gonna see it printed? Yeah, you will. Um, not tonight though, because uh, I definitely want to look at it with a fresh set of eyes and see what I do and don't like about it. Um, but yeah, I'll make it. I'll probably make a final YouTube video of it. The game plan is to print it in wood filament or like wood PLA because I have. A ton. Oh, Nico. Thank you very much, man. I didn't even know you were still here. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. That's awesome. <laughs> I seriously, I thought you took off for some reason. Um, Nico, if you want, we are going to play PUBG shortly here. Me, Bobby, and Nubert. So uh, there's a fourth slot if you want to play this in a little bit. I'll let you know. I'll like. I'll shoot you a message on Steam. Um, if you. Um, want to get in Discord or something like that. <laughs> Thanks a lot though, man. <laughs> um, yeah, you like, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna print it in uh, like a wood, oh, I'll show you here. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna print it in this, which is like a wood infused PLA. Um, I have a ton of it because I bought it and thought I'd use it for a lot of projects I never did. And then um, once I print it, I'm gonna get some sandpaper and sand it down because usually when I print with wood, it, it gets kind of rough and um, um, a little stringing on it. So I'll sand it down and then if I don't have any wood stain left, I'll go pick up some wood stain, but I wanna actually stain it. Um, and then once I stain it, I'm going to probably keep the whole thing wood colored, but I think I'm gonna paint the hat, the polka dots, various colors. So. 
I have lots of sandpaper if you need some. I probably will need some sandpaper, Bobby, because I don't think I have any. I'll have to look in my dresser shelf thing. I've got, like, one of everything. It's just really unorganized. What are we thinking? Is that way too many polka dots, or is that, like, just the right amount of polka dots? I feel like it's too many polka dots. Let's get rid of like uh, a couple of them. Oops. What the heck? Oh, I can't get that one off the line. Oh. Yeah, I kind of want a more spread. I feel like that is a good amount of polka dots. Maybe? You can never have too many. <laughs> Damn, pizza is on its way. Awesome, I can't freaking wait. Literally had half a burrito today. I woke up at a ridiculous hour of day and everything was all messed up. Beautiful, beautiful polka dots. Yeah, originally I was just gonna find a model online, like something on Thingiverse, and just print him out a gift. But I was like, let's make him something. That'll be way more fun than finding something already existing. Your body. You need to come outside, or are you going to make a photo of Bobby wait for the pizza man? Oh, you said it's on its way, like he's delivering it. Um, yeah, I'll go outside in a couple minutes. Let me save this real quick. Save as, um, nearly finished. So all I'm going to do tomorrow is look at it with a fresh set of eyes, and, um, I'm going to <laughs> snatch is salty. Get blocked. All right. Um, we are going to. I'm gonna look at it with a fresh set of eyes and then um, decide whether I want to add little details. And if I don't add little details, then I'll just add the slot on the top for the coins and then the plug on the bottom. Um, and. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I'll make a video for those of you that uh, want to see it, so it'll be up on the channel, and uh, also, yeah, I'll see if I can start streaming more often, if not weekly, maybe bi-weekly, every other week I can try to do a stream, I just, um, I have a hard time planning things, so it might be just like tonight was where I hopped on, so it might be like, if you make it, you make it, if not, then sorry, you know, type thing, um, that was another reason why I didn't really stream was because I had a hard time setting dates in advance. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably, uh, try to do one in the next couple weeks here. Um, maybe for building the TiVo Tarantula printer because I've got it sitting on my desk like it's been forever. But, oh shit, my job's here? Dude, dude, how are you going to come? I've been online for two hours and 47 minutes and you're going to show up in my last 60 seconds online? What's going on, man? I'll max out of this real quick. <clears throat> I'm about to get off. Um, <laughs> Newbert ordered pizza for me, so I'm going to go stand out front and wait for the pizza man at 11.15 at night. <laughs> Crazy sleep schedule. Are you just waking up right now? If you're just waking up, then your schedule's worse than mine, because I woke up at probably 4, and I thought that was bad. If if um if you're around mod um not 
Well, I'm gonna be streaming again pretty soon here, dude. So maybe you can try to catch me on the next stream. Um, either the end of this next week or the following week. Uh, I'm not really sure when I have. I can't really plan it. If you follow me on Twitter, dude, just follow me on Twitter, and I'll do my best to, um, um, like tweet when I'm when I'm gonna be uh, uh, going live at least a little bit in advance. So that way, maybe you can catch some of it. Cause I'd love to chit chat and catch up. I'm just fucking tired it's been it was supposed to be a quick thing kind of and uh there was a lot more people that showed up than i expected which was awesome so all right man yeah sounds good dude i hope you're doing all right bro i really do it'd be cool if i could if again if i can catch you even if it's like halfway through it or something but um yeah i'll talk to you later on then all right um anyone else who's been lurking or hanging out thanks for thanks for chilling and um See you the next stream. And then Bobby and Nico and Newbert, I'll be in Discord if you guys want to hop in there in a minute. So, alright, guys. Have a good night. Peace.